Baker Mayfield has regressed since his rookie year. We knew the second year could be a step back. That's most quarterbacks do when they have a great rookie year. Freddie Kitchens, we knew that would happen. But under Kevin Stefanski, Baker Mayfield has regressed substantially. And I know a lot of people say, well, he had 26 TDs and 8 interceptions last year. That was game manager. That's all that was. That was him just being a game manager. He didn't progress. He regressed. And that's the thing I'm getting at here. He's regressed substantially under the tutelage of Kevin Stefanski to the point where we can't even – we're not even competitive with him at the, at the offensive point. Sure, we could beat teams like the Bengals and Lions, but – Good teams, he just folds. And, you know, I know people sit there and say, well, he's better than whoever we had before. That's no doubt. But I'm not keeping a quarterback that's regressed. And, and I do believe it's his offense. I believe it's the coaching and the, the offense. I think Mayfield would do better in another system, obviously. And I think he'll do – I think Mayfield could go to another team, Sean Payton or somebody, and I think he'll be good. I think he might even be great. I do. But I truly believe in his offense – we already seen what Stefanski's offense looked like in Minnesota. It was terrible. It was fucking horrible. We already seen it in Minnesota. It chased away Stephon Diggs. He chased away Odell Beckham. This, uh, his offense is not conducive for a quarterback to look good in or to thrive in. It's just not. So my question is, since we want to run Mayfield out of town because he's better than what we had, but that's not good enough. And I agree. It's not good enough. Why not use the same goddamn analogy on our head coach? He's better than what we've had in the last 20 years, but he's not good enough. So if you want to make a clean break from uh, Mayfield, I got no problem with that. But we need to make a clean break from fucking Kevin Stefanski also. I mean, you got to think of it. This guy's offense was horrible in Minnesota. It chased away receivers. No one wants to. We're never going to be able to sign anybody. No one will consider Cleveland with this guy running the show. Nobody. Nobody. You could see it yesterday. The, the morale of the team, they just quit on him. They know, like I said... When you have a job and you know your boss is a fucking idiot, a fucking retard, you know it. These players know it. That's why they came out and questioned it yesterday. So if we're going to run Mayfield out, which I totally agree with. I got Listen, I, I like Mayfield, but it's not going to happen in Cleveland with this coach. Now, if you want to run Mayfield out and get a new head coach, someone that knows what they're doing, I got no problem with keeping them. But I have no problem with getting a new head coach and starting over with the quarterback. I don't, and I would I would actually love to do that. Because we've had too much talent on this team. I mean, we signed, listen, we signed guys, John Johnson, Troy Hill, all these uh, fucking guys, Anthony Walker, these guys who had great years last year. Free agents that don't fit into the scheme we run. I don't, I mean, what is Andrew Berry doing? Why sign players if they don't fit into the scheme you're doing? You sign names. You got to build, it's just like with a good coach, you build an offense around the quarterback. You build a defense around the talent you have. This this franchise has run so fucking backwards i mean they got a defense that got good players in it some would say great and it's terrible because they're not running they're not aggressive they're not playing to the defensive the player's strengths so why would we sign these guys we signed austin hooper oh my god austin hooper 40 million we we, we locked in nick chubb i don't know how them i know the contract wasn't i was team friendly but still why are you locking in a running back when you know we got dearness johnson we i mean nick chubb's great but so is dearness johnson the offensive line makes them guys great. You know it as well as I do. This is a poorly run franchise. I hate to say it. It's a poorly run franchise. From the head down. Andrew Burry has no clue on what he's doing. And Kevin Stefanski is a fucking high school coach at best. He should not be calling plays. I'll tell you that right now. So if we're going to get rid of Mayfield, and I am totally agree with that. I have no problem with that. we got to get rid of Stefanski. Because do you really want to get a new quarterback and bring him in to have Stefanski just make him a game manager? I mean, what's the point of that? There's no point in it. I want to win a Super Bowl, and I felt we could do that this year. We have the talent, but we have a head coach that, after his nine-play offense gets figured out, he has no fucking adjust. When's the last time you've seen Kevin Stefanski make an adjustment? Never. I'm so tired of, oh, I got to do better. I got to outcoach. We got to play. Fuck you. I'm tired of this shit. We've got a great roster, and this guy has fucking... Yesterday was inexcusable why they did not attack Mac Jones. It was inexcusable. Two things were inexcusable yesterday. Why they didn't attack Mac Jones, they just let him sit on a spot and make any throw unpressured. And the second one was abandoning the run after that first drive. They were down 14-7, to he abandoned the run. He panicked. 
It was almost like I said he wanted the Mayfield to fail so he could go to the ownership and say, I need my own quarterback. Well, guess what? I don't want to see you trot out your own fucking quarterback in this garbage-ass offense that no one wants. We can't attract free agents. Who the fuck's want to come here? You think anyone's going to be like, yeah, let's go to Cleveland. We can fucking run routes and be a glorified blocker. That's all you are. So I say we get rid of both. And actually, what I would like to do this year is fire Stefanski, let Alex Van Pelt take over, let him play call. You got seven, eight, what, seven games left? Let him play call how he wants. And let's see if Mayfield can actually play good. And I have a feeling that if you, if you let Alex Van Pelt call plays, I think Mayfield will play good, even with a broken shoulder. And if he doesn't, guess what? Then you know... A lot of people already think they know, but if he doesn't play good these last seven games, then you say, you know what, we got to get a quarterback. It's not that it's not that hard. We're wasting valuable time right now because what happened yesterday was inexcusable. We're not going to know anything with Kevin Stefanski. The guy's terrible. Listen, he's horrible. He's terrible. I mean, Alex Van Pelt, if he was calling this, if he was the play caller, Odell Beckham would still be here. And I don't like Beckham, but he would still be here right now. That's a fact. This guy is, I don't know why he has to call plays. He's ruined the Browns. So I think Jimmy has them today after yesterday. What was Stefanski did? I would call him in and say, listen, Alex Van Pelt's calling plays, and I'll guarantee you Kevin Stefanski will be like, well, that's not acceptable, and he'll quit. He'll resign, whatever. That's what you need him to do. Or if he doesn't, then fire him. Because you're the owner. This is your fucking business. And you got a guy right now that's fucking killing your business. I would fire him immediately. I would definitely take play calling off him and then fire him. I, honestly, I want to fire him because I'm telling you right now, this guy is the worst coach we've ever had. He can't make adjustments. And like I said, the game plan yesterday was atrocious. When are we going to start fucking blitzing on defense and putting pressure on? To, uh, like we did Joe Burrow. What the fuck was that all about? We got we put pressure on Joe Burrow. And um, yesterday, we just let a rookie do whatever the fuck we want. You think Belichick would have done that to a rookie quarterback? No. I know oh, he was throwing quick passes. Well, guess what? You got to knock him off his mark. You got You can't just let him sit back there. If he's getting rid of the ball quick, it doesn't matter. You got to fucking know how to fucking put him off his block, make him off his mark, put pressure on him. And you got to not. I mean, Jesus Christ, Joe Woods. They were doing misdirections, screens. He had no answer. Joe Woods is fucking terrible. But I still blame Stefanski on that because I think Stefanski, analytic driven. I think they're all in about analytics, and I think that's why their defense plays uh, relaxed, uh, soft. So the other team will make mistakes. That's what I think they're trying to do. I really believe that. And Joe Woods is terrible. Don't get me wrong. He had one year in Denver. That's why. He's fucking terrible. So I'd like to, right now, midseason, fire Stefanski, make Alex Van Pelt the head coach, or whatever, play call or whatever, and play these final seven day games and see what you have in Mayfield with a real offensive coordinator. And if he shits the bed, guess what? Move on. If he plays good... And you know what? We could use him another year under a qualified head coach. And who's to say Alex Van Pelt's not a qualified head coach? And who's to say Alex Van Pelt being the head coach here? Aaron Rodgers won't come here. This is a telling time right now. Aaron Rodgers and Alex Van Pelt got a good relationship. If he's a head coach, I'll guarantee you Aaron Rodgers would consider coming to Cleveland. Because Cleveland has enough weapons at the receiver thing. To make it to uh, actually attract a quarterback, they got good players offensively. The problem is we got a head coach that doesn't know how to get the ball to receivers because he runs that thirteen personnel, whatever the fuck they call it. It's all tight end oriented, and it's no one else runs it but the Patriots. But look at the they run it, but guess what? They got a real fucking coordinator. They know how to fucking stretch the field. We don't. So I think you need to fire Stefanski, elevate Alex Van Pelt, and see what you have in Mayfield for the final seven games. That's what I would do. And Joe Woods, tell him to be aggressive. Because what he did to Mac Jones yesterday was an embarrassment. They put pressure on Joe Burrow and they made him play like shit. You put pressure on Mac Jones and guaranteed he ain't going to... Because I looked at Mac Jones' uh, statistics all year. You put pressure on him, he folds. We just let him sit back there on his market. We didn't even attempt to put pressure on him. If I'm anyone in Cleveland right now, the players, it's kind of hard for me to sit there and look at this team the way it is with the head coach. I couldn't be happy about playing there and knowing that they could just make a video and get, get out of Cleveland. I mean, really, if Miles Garrett wants to be like, makes a video and starts running his mouth, whatever, and Cleveland like, well, fuck you, we're cutting you. You know, you, he's going to be picked up. I mean, it's so easy for these players to get out of Cleveland. I would not want to play under Kevin Stefanski. I would not want to. This guy's, he's not qualified. It's like having a fucking boss that's a fucking idiot that you know more than, and you're doing jobs and you're like, what the fuck are we doing? This guy's an idiot. That's what the players are feeling like in Cleveland right now. You have to fire Stefanski. I don't know how you can 
after Jimmy Haslam, how do you how do you how do you allow that to happen? Like I said, just because he's better than the other coaches we've had, and I highly doubt he's better than uh, Hugh Jackson. Hugh Jackson had an eagle problem like Stefanski, but guess what? He never had the fucking talent like this. They turned Baker Mayfield and made him look like uh, Deshaun Kaiser yesterday. And actually, you know what else? Freddie Kitchens beat the Baltimore Ravens bad at Baltimore. He had more signature wins than Stefan. Stefanski's never beat a good team. Who has he beaten? Who has Stefanski beat? Nobody. He didn't beat the Steelers in the playoffs. That was um, Alex Van Pelt and Mike Pierfer. And let's call a spade a spade. The Steelers were fucking horrible last year. That's why we beat And they're horrible this year, too. Look at them. They're fucking just tying the fucking lions. So I, the bottom line is Stefanski can't beat good teams. And I'll tell you right now, I got no problem moving on with Mayfield. And if Mayfield goes to the Saints, I know they got, uh, what's his name, uh, Jameis Winston, who I like. But if Mayfield goes to somebody else and uh, – Starts dominating, then you got to look back and say, "Well, we dropped the ball with fucking Stefanski. You need to make a break right now with this guy. You can't keep a coach because he's better than all who we had before, and you can't keep a quarterback because he's better than who we had before. You're never going to get this type of roster again. They need to fire Stefanski. Yesterday was the worst game plan I ever seen. I, I just couldn't believe it. When he abandoned the run, I said to myself, "What is this guy doing?" Then I started thinking, "You know what? He's trying to fucking throw Mayfield under the bus." He had to be. You were running the ball great in the first quarter. When your players start questioning the game plan, like Joe uh, Batonio and Miles Garrett, there's a problem, and that's the head coach. You get rid of the head coach. Haslam, this is major. You got to fire Stefanski today. This guy's not equipped to be a head coach. And guess what? You fire him, ain't no one going to hire this guy. Trust me. Who the fuck wants to run a high school offense? You can't attract talent that way. Look at Stephon Diggs. Look at Beckham. Watch Beckham. I hate Beckham. Watch him go off tonight. So Haslam, ball's in your court. It's your business. But right now, you're being made a fool out of by this guy. I'm embarrassed for the Cleveland Browns. I've never seen a team with no punch, no heart like yesterday. The players quit on their head coach, and that was evident. And that's all Jimmy Haslam's doing right there. He, he, he hired this guy because Josh McDaniels didn't want to do analytics. Get rid of that analytics guy. Get rid of the depot test. It's not working, Jimmy. Analytics is killing the team. You think Aaron Rodgers is going to... Hey, Aaron Rodgers ain't coming here with Kevin Stefanski. So do what you got to do. But as a Browns fan, I can't watch this garbage no more. I will watch us bludgeon the Detroit Lions, and everyone will think the Browns are back. But then when we play the Baltimore Ravens on Sunday night, we're going to get embarrassed by a team without a quarterback. That's the sad part. A team without a quarterback will embarrass us.